No, to me, that's uh, to me like this first line. It reads like you know that meme, you know that like dick flattening meme, you know. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about, right? The uh, uh, here I got you. Wait, you know what I'm talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The uh, babe, it's 4 p.m. It's time for your daily dick flattening, and sh- and the and the dude's like, yes, dear. <laughs> That's what it's. That's what that's what it kind of sounds like to me. Making fun of it is one thing. Engaging with the arguments is another. Let's hit it up. All right. The logic. Voice chat is a competitive advantage. Muting someone is a competitive disadvantage. People who are harassed are likely and encouraged to mute their harassers. Um, this is likely the only way to stop harassment, as leaving the game uh, incurs penalties. So what's her what's her argument so far? People are saying voice chat's good. Gives a competitive advantage, with it, which it absolutely does. There's absolutely no way that you're going to convince people that in a competitive setting that having a voice chat is is like not good. Try going to any like Rainbow Six game or any like high level MOBA game and any or anything and talking about how voice chat is like unnecessary. They're gonna you're gonna be laughed out of the room. Therefore, people who are harassed must give up a competitive advantage in order to no longer subject themselves to abuse. Women and minorities should not be forced to choose between a competitive advantage and freedom from harassment. Now, the sentiment of this idea, I 100% agree with. I don't think if you're in a game, I don't think you should have to choose between like getting like brutally harassed all game and um, uh, participating in voice chat, right? That being said, that's not an argument against voice chat. That's an argument against like the gaming culture and the companies, the game company's ability to moderate its community. That has nothing. This has literally nothing to do with the existence of voice chat. Everyone faces abuse online. Get over it. Studies show that some groups are far more prone to abuse online than others because of their linguistic profile. Sure. I guess if you sound a certain way, people are going to make fun of you. When I'm in game, people always think I'm like, like white. Uh, I mean, I don't know if anybody's ever seen me before, but I am not white as far as I'm as far as I know. I would assume that I'm not. But, you know, you you learn something new every day. Honestly, I think of having a voice chat is good. So people are more so it's more normalized to join a game and hear a girl or hear someone who you don't necessarily expect in the game to show that, you know, people are here. Lots of gamer bros, lots of guys who play games will be super surprised by how many girls are actually into games and play games alongside them. And they have just no clue. They have no clue. And just and they just assume that they're just another guy. I just think that having these people uh, having their voices heard while playing the game alongside someone, I think that can be very useful to fostering a sort of uh, uh, healthier community and playing the seeds of having people act less abusive to these people in the future. You know, if they're always, if they're always there, that helps. I don't think that self segregation in this sense is really good. I don't think we got to civil rights. If we're going to broaden it out in a really LARPy way, I don't think we got to civil rights due to like segregation. Uh, I don't think that's what really helped it. It was more integration that helped people realize, Oh, these people are just people. They're just people. They're just people trying to play the game. Women, Get a whole lot of harassment in games. This is this is an undisputed fact. Anybody who tries to dispute this, you're just really stupid. And they're probably the dude who when the girl's like, enemy missing right. And they're like, girl, female, and you know, start just screeching and um uh, and just doing like the the old like uh like shitty jokes like, why well, uh, uh who gave the dishwasher a mic? Uh, but not none of this has anything to do with voice chat. It has nothing to do with voice chat. It has everything to do with the culture around gaming. Because gaming culture... I'll big cam this, okay? Because this is important. Uh, gaming culture is terrible. It's toxic and garbage and absolute. It's not made for any human being. Lots of people try to segment it as this group or that group is bad. You know, so the, oh, guys, it's just... Not all game, not not all gaming communities. Are. It's only the Smash Bros community. It's only the League community. Ah, uh, it's only the Dota community. Come on, come on. Oh, it's only the speed running community. Come on, it's not everyone. It's all garbage. It's all bad. And we've known this all the way back since the days of like Modern Warfare Three and the early co- and uh, and like the the early Black Ops, where people would be just screeching like profanities over the mic 
and uh, uh and, and like yelling at each other people would like scream at squeakers and everything and there'd be the uh, there'd be the dude who's uh um who's like blasting rap music over their mic for literally no reason like there was there was recently in the smash bros community there was a girl who um was climbing the ranks she was beating some of the best players in the world right and she was chased out of the community. She got harassed offline. She had to delete her Twitter and she had to s- quit the game. Just like, just all, uh, just like overnight. Just, just quit. Just go, gone, goodbye. See you later. I can't be here anymore because they're doxing my family because I beat freaking Leffen. She goes a little bit more in depth on articles that she's written. I'm going to look at this one from Poly- from Polygon. That she wrote back in 20, what was it, 18? Yeah, back in February. Um, this is just for segregating minorities out of, out of the voice chats. But this, is, this is just kicking them out of the voice chats. And if this is the case, pre-maids are just going to dominate more than they already are. Because they're going to have voice chat. Because they're going to ha- be a pre-maid. Everybody knows. I, I can bet you in any team-based game, any pre-maid that pops into a game full man uh full man lobby uh all in voice chat is going to do far better than some team uh of randos that the matchmaking system slapped together uh and threw into a game i i promise you this this is going to be a competitive advantage that now that now that uh these uh these minority and um uh and marginalized groups just can't participate in it anymore that and if you like just don't really make friends that all that that well it's going to be even worse. Or you're like you're like super shy. This doesn't fix any problems. Like what what happened to the people who most of these games are free? Heroes of the Storm is free. League is free. Dota is free. I'm going to be talking about Smite. Smite is free. All these games are free. What happened to the people who can't afford microphones? Some people may not have a mic uh, have have a mic at all to talk. Are they now dis? Uh, I I would say they're disadvantaged. But this doesn't mean we have to remove voice chat for everyone just because they can't afford a mic or some people may be harassed over the mic we have gay pride parades this is like the idea of that we just need to obliterate gay pride parades because people are harassed at them so we just need to make sure that no one gets harassed at a gay pride parade so just make make them all illegal make gay pride parades illegal no no groups of more than 10 gays in one place at any given point in time because harassment no no one would argue for that because it makes literally no sense the visibility that they're uh, that they have even when they're even when they're subjected to the um uh subjected to the harassment is well worth having their voice be heard we don't we don't remove stairs because people with wheelchairs exist we don't abolish pools because people who can't swim exist we didn't add more segregation to have people be more comfortable with each other. We did integration, not segregation. And yes, in a lot of those schools where uh, people integrated, lots of minority communities faced a lot of discrimination. But over time, that pain uh, that they suffered helped foster a much better community where people can just go to school and they see a black person and they're like, ah, yes, a black person, because it's school. And not like, what the, what the, what? Why is there a black person here? Not like, why is there a woman here? You know, I've never seen a woman in my entire life in a video game. 